This is Gordon with another do-it-yourself repair video on this time it's on a little tractor lawnmower it used to be a lawnmower I just use it for hauling a little trailer around a little sprayer today I'm going to clean the battery with baking soda and water I don't know how well you can see on the video today but there is a overflow vent on both ends of this battery and many times batteries have a fill cap. Uh, 12 volt batteries will have one that, hold, that covers three plugs over here. It's three cells, two volts per cell. And then uh, another cap on the other side, so you'll have two caps. Or sometimes you can have individual caps. A six volt battery is going to have three of them. All right. Uh, around those, those caps and anywhere across the top of the battery, you need to keep those clean. This is on your car, motorcycle, doesn't matter what it is, any lead acid battery needs to be cleaned once in a while with baking soda and water because as the battery is charging and discharging fumes, in this case they come out of these two vents right here, acid fumes come out. It's, it's actually oxygen and hydrogen it's, and it's explosive, it's flammable in the right conditions that boils inside the water and it breaks down and it comes out and it leaves fumes, it carries acid with it and it leaves uh, a coating on the top of the battery and once that coating builds up enough it'll just discharge your battery because the acid is a conductor. Yeah, water alone is, is somewhat of a conductor but only for high voltage. Amperage won't go through plain water but amperage will go through acidified water and so if you have a coating of, of acid film on top of your battery, the battery will discharge just sitting there. And so you need to clean that off once in a while. And I'm just gonna, I cleaned the battery the other day and, and I still have some baking soda. This is just your typical baking soda. Uh, Arm and Hammer, I buy it in large boxes because I use very little of it for cooking. I use it for batteries almost exclusively. And so a couple tablespoons, a couple three tablespoons and a glass of water. In this case, there's only about maybe two teaspoons in this little bit of water. <coughs> we'll pour it on there and it's going to foam up. Now, here's something that you can do just a quick test. When you see moisture on your battery, don't show this to your kids, but you can touch that, tap it on your tongue. And if you taste a strong lemony, you spit it back out because it is poisonous, so don't swallow it. Wouldn't hurt you, one little taste, but still, it's just, that's just to know is it acid or is it just water that's laying up there. And if it does have a strong lemony taste, then yes, it is acid. And you need to pour some mixture on there and you see the foam. And be careful not to pour that inside the battery. So I'm pouring it over here on this side so it's draining off that way. If I poured it this way, some of it might actually go in the battery and start diluting the acid. And so on a car battery, you're going to do this on your post. See, we're getting some even around, around this where it appears to be dry. We're getting some foam. So, there was a little bit of a, of a dry film of acid on top that we weren't even seeing. And it doesn't need much. If it's dirty, then you might need to scrub that with a, a brush, a plastic brush, so the acid doesn't eat it. And it's done foaming, so we're done. We're going to pour some clean water on it and rinse it off. And the sun will dry that off in just a few minutes, and that's done. Nothing to it. But if this was corroded with a bunch of white and green stuff, we'd have to take this all apart, take these connections off, and clean them with a wire brush, and then do the, the uh, neutralizing with the baking soda. Okay. So much for that one. Thanks for watching.